somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn, folks. I am very excited because this is the season finale of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This is episode eight. The prophecy comes true. We had a big cliffhanger there on the beach. I can't wait to see how this one plays out. That's right. I'm wondering if the rated R superstar Adam Copeland is going to get a spear or two, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to find out what happens there. Oh, I got to tell you, uh, our boy Edge, a.k.a. Adam Copeland, a.k.a. whatever, <laughs> that's a big, mean dude. And we have uh, Percy and friends that are going to have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe on the beach. I'm a little nervous, but Maybe. they're the heroes. I hope we get an Impaler DDT along with the old spear. If it happens, who knows? Either way, let's go! But you are one. That makes you part of something bigger than yourself. That coat. I need that coat, but I know I can't pull it off. <laughs> I know, that's what always sucks when I was seeing people on some things. Let's work on that diss on. When you're 5'10 with short legs. When am I ever going to use this stuff? Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, yeah. Told you. Well, come for me. I know. They have. <laughs> the theory tried to fall on me. Three folks from doing it. <laughs> oh. It's not like there are rules. Of course there are rules. See, that's what warfare is. Knowing the rules so you can use them against your opponent. Single combat. What? <laughs> one on one. If I draw first blood, I keep the bolt and you surrender the helm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's your funeral, kid. Although, just to be clear, no funeral. Any trace of you leaves a trace of my plan, and we can't have that. It was Kronos to steal Hades' helm and Zeus's bolt to start a war. Gods don't dream little man and no one tells the god of war how to start a fight after you die say hi to your mommy for me <laughs> oh, say hi to your mom for me <laughs> what a classic little oh, tv it's... and movie line oh okay we are getting it. i thought poseidon would come in like a wave yeah or something. maybe he will at the last minute i think uh... oh, oh choke slam <laughs> Oh! Uh oh! Because it, it, it heals them. The water heals them to begin with. But now here we got. Comes. Here comes the big dog. <laughs> Wait a minute! But his friends are also on the beach. <laughs> oh no! That's Percy doing it. I'll find out who I am. No! Oh! That's not his dad. That's Percy. Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat. Oh, oh he got Achilles! Just like what happened to him in real life! He tore his Achilles! <laughs> did he really? Yeah, he, he did, did, yeah. Tell me it wasn't on his left leg. <laughs> I don't I don't know what you like, but that'd be great. Yes! <laughs> that was so cool. Wanna know what you really won today? An enemy for life. Oh boy. Don't look at his true form! What? There's, There's the helmet. The helmet. Okay, now but that, now they got to get back home. to the underworld. Yep. Well, I think if they they give that to Hades, you give them mom. I think he'll give them a free reign out. I would think. I yeah. don't know. But do they got to go back through a creepy waterbed guy to get back down to the underworld? Well, he's probably still wrapped up. Some beautiful stained glass windows. It looks a lot like the is that the cabin that him and his mom went to? It does. Oh. Ooh, violent mom? seismic activity. Quite something, isn't it? Lord Poseidon goes bold oh, he is again. against his king. Oh, and then she sees the helm. That's been your quest all along. Good luck on Olympus. Perhaps there will still be a world left for your mother to return to. <laughs> oh, jeez. What for? The quest failed. We missed the deadline. This is bigger than the quest. We have to get Zeus to call it off. Returning the bolt is the only way I can get his attention. Percy, you don't want Zeus's attention. I gotta tell him about Kronos. Zeus has to know. Bringing him the bolts might be enough to get him to listen. You two gotta go to camp. Now that we know who Ares and Clarice were working for, someone has to warn Chiron. He'll kill you. 
either because he thinks you stole the bolt or because you're a forbidden kid, Zeus will never let you leave Olympus alive. I'm done running from monsters. I have to try. You're gonna need all the luck you can get. How sure are we you can just explain everything in an email? <laughs> <laughs> email where's the glory in that like really if you're gonna quit a job are you gonna just email or are you just gonna walk in there oh, walk in like you own the place walk out like you own the place yeah. and then walk out <laughs> walk in then out i'm here to see zeus <laughs> <laughs> i'm just a temp <laughs> look, look at, at that, that. jinx Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's quite the scenery there. Holy Jesus. The gods are all powerful, but they have to play by the rules. And they create demigods so we can break the rules for them. Yes. Shouldn't they be just as afraid of us as we are of them? You're learning fast. He's got the same necklace. Annabeth is terrified of spiders. But she's a lot bigger than they are. So what do you think happens when she comes across one? Hmm. I like that. Nice. Oh, that is very interesting. I've never heard that somebody put that like that. Get squished. What a visual that is. He's got to go all the way up there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> to take a minute. <laughs> this know, is where the eagles come into play. I Dad. was just going to say, you know what would be handy right <laughs> now are a uh, few eagles. Oh, he's there already. It's all good. Fly right to the top. I just want it to be Zeus from No Holds Barred. <gasps> Is that? It's Redick. It's oh, sure oh. enough. <laughs> what, did, hey. he, did he come right from Wick with the same costume? <laughs> yeah. Jumped right hey, off set. Hey, we need you. He, we need you. No, don't worry. I got it covered. May yeah. he rest in. Oh, rest what a treat peace. this is to is this, see him again. Is this then the last thing he might have done? I think so. Oh, damn it! I didn't steal it. Neither did any of my friends. We found it. We tried to get it to you on time, but... You failed. I did. But I had to come. I had to tell you who did steal it. It was Kronos. Mr. Wick. <laughs> Room 431. He's emerging from Tartarus. Or trying to. I know where Kronos is. I put him there. <laughs> <laughs> I know who Kronos is. I am his son. It was only a matter of time before he did again. Thank you for the news. It is the only reason I'm letting you leave alive. There, it gets to leave alive. I have a war to prosecute now. So when I say you may go, it means be grateful. <laughs> be gone. But the war can't continue. Boy! You escape with your life. That is your prize. What did you think? That you and I would negotiate? I thought you might listen. Kronos wants you to fight my father. Ooh. Your family is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> They obey because they're afraid. Ares, your son, he turned on you the moment someone stronger showed up. How afraid of you do you think they'll be when your dad shows up looking to put you back in your place? Oh, boy. Uh-oh. There's Poseidon. Yep, gotta be. Oh! I surrender. I surrender. Just spare my son. Wow. You're forbidden, son. Who should have never been born. The same as your Thalia, whose bravery still inspires all demigods. To sell a sword at battle to Petros, Ares, Hades, Hermes de Boebandus. I'll have Athena set a meeting. The whole council will declare my swift and crushing victory. What? <laughs> oh, he said council. The high table. The high table, exactly. Whoa. Obedience doesn't come naturally to you, does it? <laughs> no. Sure. The sea does not like to be restrained. Patros, the only word I really got. It means father. Chiron has taught you well. I didn't learn it from Chiron. Your mother taught you ancient Greek. She taught me a lot of things. Let's go get her? I don't know when Hades will return her. Ares said gods don't dream. Ares is a moron. <laughs> <laughs> of course we dream. What do you ask? Do you ever dream about mom? You should be going. 
<laughs> just you need to work on him landings. <laughs> yeah. He's do some of those superhero. Any landings. chance I can get a few more of those oh. just in case my boy Grover decides to drop one? I was gonna say he's at the camp because that's uh, who got trapped in that tree. Annabeth's sister or friend or something, something. got trapped oh, in that tree. I can't remember now. Look at that. The conquering uh, hero returns. Uh, heroes, Where, where's welcome. the where's that stupid bully? They oh. better be cheering. <laughs> she's gonna, she's, she's gonna, gonna mind again. She's gonna come up with a trophy and pull the uh, the uh, the old. You're all right, kid. <laughs> you can be my wingman anytime. You're all right, kid. <laughs> you're all right, Larusso. Mm -hmm. There she all is. Right. There. And we I solve it in season two. I'll explain. Clarice stole the master bolt. It's complicated. How is it complicated? An accusation against Clarice. Without proof. It would have lit this whole place on fire. You stopped the war. Now it's safe to tell Chiron and finish cleaning up the mess. I told him we needed to meet him away from the celebration so we can talk without any of Clarice's supporters noticing. I'll keep an eye on Clarice while you're gone. And we'll meet back here. Things are wrapping up way too easy. Mm. Come on, you've said like two words since we left the cabins. You're thinking about your mom, about prophecies. Those things are so vague. The quest is over. And everything the Oracle said has either come true or makes sense. Has it? You shall go west and face the god it was turned. Luke's the turn. Someone turns on you. Find what was stolen and see it returned. Clearly the bulls. And you shall be betrayed by one who calls you a friend. No. God. Well, the reason Clarice is still here is because you never said anything to Chiron about her, did you? Because you knew that Clarice didn't steal the bolt. <sighs> Luke did. Oh, no. You worked with Ares to plant it on me. So when the shoes you gave me pulled me down into Tartarus, yep. mm -hmm. the bolt be delivered right to Kronos. I didn't think you'd give him the Grover to wear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was me, Percy. The gods are my enemy. You. I'm here to recruit. I don't want to fight. This is what I wanted to show you. It's our way out. Way out of what? Whoa, it cut through time and space? Backbiter can open secret doors. We can stay on the run as long as it takes. It's the word Zeus fears the most. Gods want us to fight for them, worship them, fear them. And they couldn't care less what we want. They're bad parents, Percy. I love that they said couldn't care less properly. This isn't you. This is Kronos. He opened my eyes to the truth. Oh. Golden Age. We're going to help Kronos bring the Golden Age back. Stealing the bolt in the helm was easy. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I met your dad. <laughs> you did get better. Except for that. Hey. Uh-oh. Let him open it up. You know. I didn't mean to. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> yep. She saw the whole thing. I... Heard everything. Just gonna make a run for the door. Yep, yep. Or jump in the portal. Good move. None of this is easy. Saying goodbye. I may not be gone long. And you're certain that you won't accept an armed escort? I told you I don't think Luke wants to kill me. I don't think he does either. When Luke explained why he planned to take down Olympus, Luke knows that you'd be a powerful ally to his cause his master Cronus he can be very very persuasive but I'm very very stubborn <laughs> he's he's true you're more than a hero now you are a leader in the eyes of your fellow half mutts you're still here <laughs> <laughs> I was just leaving thank you Percy Percy that's your name yes are you sure give him the reveal I'm 90% sure it's Pete. Percy <laughs> Percy Jackson. I don't think so. Eh, you know what? I don't actually care. How does she feel about all of this? You going home to see your dad? It's a tree, seaweed brain. It doesn't express opinions, but I imagine she's thrilled. He wants to show me New York City first, so I'm going to pretend I haven't been there. And then some place called Disney World, which kind of sounds like Waterland, but less determined to kill you. Is there something you're supposed to do there? <laughs> Just be a kid. Guys! Guys! Just pushing Disney on this, like, all right, guys. Oh, is that your searcher's license? Officially authorized to begin the quest for Pan. It seems like every inch of the natural world's been checked, noted, and footnoted. 
The council's theory is that Pan is always on the move and it's all about timing. No one's ever bothered to check the seas. I know some people in management out there. I'll find you. I know a guy. I've got people. I might fall off a truck. Who knows? Let's make a pact. Right there. No. <laughs> no. Mason no. Quinn's worst nightmare. No. Put the fist. All of us. Right here. A hug <laughs> is much better, Oak. We could but it's not his contract binding. <laughs> <laughs> it's not his contract binding as a pinky swear, though. You think the stepdad will be there? He's going to be pissed about the Camaros, too. Yeah. Percy? Yeah, I was going to say Hades. Is it real, though? Seems like. Oh, just as soon as she, they hug, he yeah, like she, she turns or She turns into something. I mean, an illusion wouldn't be too difficult for the gods. It's a long story. <laughs> I'm just going to say, like, I'll tell you between season one and two. It's time to wake up. Ah. Oh, yep. Dream sequence. Even Oak didn't call it. I should have known by the lighting on the beach that it was too perfect. Is that the boatman coming to get him? We're still doing this? I won. Soon enough, we'll oh. meet in your world. If you can survive. Well, it turns out I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> Your survival is the key to my return. Oh, you oh. see the face there? Breakfast awaits. Seventh grade awaits. Let's get this party started. Was this whole show a dream sequence? Do you have another nightmare? Grandpa. Oh, what did he say this time? Don't forget to tell your mom how much you love her today. Kronos. Lord of the Titans said that. <laughs> I mean, he could have. The stories you heard about Greek gods, heroes, and monsters. Is that blue? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to tell you they're real. <laughs> it's like Commando. What is this, Commando or Rambo? <laughs> zip, zip. <laughs> so don't give up, because we might need you for the fight ahead. Okay. And? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's, there awesome. It is. that's awesome. That's awesome. awesome. Our dude. Now, are we going to have any post credits? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Right, oh. Oh. Look who it is. Oh, yeah, good. Okay. Oh. My wife is divorcing me, and on top of that, I got to pay you, too? How is that fair? <laughs> <laughs> well, who, who told you to take out law school loans? <laughs> oh. She changed the locks. Do you know how to pick a lock? Oh. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <gasps> oh, no. Percy Jackson oh. from the gods. Oh, he's he's doing it. He's done. New statue. Oh. Oh, oh no. no, we lost God. our guy. Oh, Gabe, yeah. you shunt of Lux. Well, I'm glad he did though. <laughs> well, he just saved well, Percy's. Uh, well, well, Percy would have known not to look at it. Yeah, yeah. Percy would have. Percy, because he would have known what it was. Yeah. yeah. He knew exactly what he yeah, said. These, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, you know, a, apparently in the in the books uh, he had it coming. So let's call that a happy ending, yeah, shall we, we, folks? Uh, you know, okay. you don't mind. I'll start this one. Go for okay. it. All right. <laughs> I don't. I, gosh, I'm trying not to be like super critical of this because I'm new to it and everything. But I had this worry about how. I guess I had expectations coming in that I probably sh should not have set for myself because I was thinking we were actually going to get like a like a, a battle more than what we got. Oh, I mean, okay. we got a little one, right? We got Percy versus Ares. Mm -hmm. A little one. I think it lasted three minutes. So I guess I was expecting more, um, more than just what we got there. I feel like it was that and then a lot of button dressing you know for episodes that are coming in season two because i yeah they stopped the war i don't know, i i just feel like everything in this episode was kind of fast i feel like it went like a quick fight they've solved it real quick they Talk did this Zeus real quick and, yeah, yeah i feel like it was just too quick considering all the build-up we had yeah. all you know in the first seven episodes so again i'm not trying to crap on it because it was still solid but i guess for a go home last episode i guess i was expecting more than what we got um good to see 
Edge back again. Uh, we, I guess, I was expecting more dialogue, and you you guys will have to tell me in the in the uh, comments. But I was, I guess, I was expecting. Okay, we avoided Percy and Poseidon all seven episodes, and then we got two minutes of dialogue between the two. That was it. Uh, maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Again, one, again, I'm 100% blind. I know nothing about the books, lore, anything. But I was expecting more than what we got there as well. I guess overall, my sense is I was expecting more because I feel like almost, uh, again, it was just too quick. Luke, we should have saw. I should have stuck to my my guns on that one. <laughs> yeah. <From> episode one. <laughs> yeah. As soon as they went to the forest, I was like, I don't. You, if it oh. makes a cut, I'm like, I don't like this. Yeah, you know that made sense yeah. because uh, the one thing we I feel like we forgot was the turn. You know when he mentioned that, like your one of your friends or someone that yeah, calls from, you a from friend. The Oracle. Yeah. Yeah, and that just on me. So I guess coming back, we should have been keeping that in the forefront because then it would have been like, okay, well it's clearly Luke at this point. Because at first we kept thinking, of, is it going to be Annabeth or Grover? Annabeth or Grover? And none of them did it. Uh, and it was kind of again this season overall was pretty unique. We got the mom back. I guess I would have liked to seen because we're in a visual medium. So I guess I would have liked to have seen Hades do whatever he had to do to get her back, mm -hmm. back to normal state, back to the normal world, I'll say for now, for lack of my terminology for this. I, I, again, everything just felt boom, 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 and then that was it. I feel like we could have used a little bit more, uh, and maybe it was time constraints, right? Cause that yeah, was one I of was our just going to say that too. Maybe yeah. if this were hour long episodes, we could have had a lot more. Yeah, if, uh, I don't know. I'm conflicted, folks. Again, I'm not trying to crap on it because I was actually entertained learning uh, about Percy. And I am looking forward to season two. Uh, I do believe if I saw correctly, there are some comments that said this could be a, a like a Harry Potter where it gets darker as we go on. So hmm. bring on the darkness. Give me more than 40 minute episodes, please. And uh, I'm ready for what's six and some yeah, I'm, I'm ready for what's next. But again, I just feel like this was a little rushed. Okay. I'll go now. I'll look, I, he brings up Harry Potter and I learned from Harry Potter that if this is a long, if they're playing the long, long game here, okay, long ball. <laughs> they're playing the long game, then I'm going to be patient. And if you haven't yeah. seen our Harry Potters, they're, they're about two years old. Um, so the first two, I'm like, okay, these are kids' movies, and of course, you you come to learn that they're a coming of age story that starts at childhood. Okay, he's glossing over a couple things. And there's, <laughs> I was really harsh with the first two. Um, yeah, just and, a bit. and the, the difference between look, I, you know, I'll always go back to the classic movie Stand by Me. If you haven't seen it, you have to see Stand by Me. It's a story of a bunch of young boys, but it's not a kids' movie. It's just a coming of age movie about boys when they're a certain age. Um, you know, the Wonder Years on TV is a lighthearted version. Younger cast, coming of age story. Um, if this is what Diamond Dave says, like the intro to, you know, a, a more mature kind of story going forward, um, then I think it's okay. If this was really intended for younger audiences, if it's something that Disney put together and said, we want to hit that, you know, eight to 16 year old audience with a cool story that they might not be familiar of and kind of, you know, take that Greek lore and, and deliver it in, um, you know, in a very purposefully packaged um, you know, format for younger audiences, then I think this is good. It's, it was, uh, when he's, when he's like, oh, I don't want to crap on it. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be the only one. Um, <laughs> yeah. It just, it just got, it, it was a little, it was a little too, light for me do i think it was good yes so i don't want this to come across like i'm totally dogging it um if this is intended for younger audiences i can see the like yeah the kid Man. he's he's it's oh, pg yeah says so family it's, it's right pg there. Yeah. family fantasy okay yeah. so this isn't even this you know what thank you for pointing that out i honestly mean that the fact that this isn't even pg 13 it's just straight like and i don't know for tv ratings if they use the same rating scale pg pg 13 but the fact that it's pg and they make it very much known that it's family then i think this is I think this did its purpose. The battle with Percy and uh, I'm just gonna call him Edge, you know, Aries on the beach. Um, you expect something bigger. And when we've you know seen films like Gladiator and the 300, all those these guys all haven't seen the 300. In in, in movies like that, 
where you know you have just this this epic you know these epic visual battles you know and i didn't come in thinking it was going to be that but you you look at it differently um i think this final story was fun you know it, it felt a little a little rushed i will agree with dave the the battle on the beach it was cool to see the wave but it was just like that and then sliced the leg and then it was then it was over and he, adam had to know, do the job and then even like oh hey now he just took the elevator up to olympus and uh there's zeus and they're gonna talk for a few minutes um but you know uh it was cool that we had lance reddick there um of course rest in peace an incredibly talented actor um, but for me, it, it look, I, I enjoyed the story all the way through, all eight episodes. Um, but this last one did feel a little bit rushed. It did feel a little light um, for my taste. But uh, the fact that it, Disney flat out labels it like PG family fantasy, I think if if you have, you know, and I look at stuff different now that I have a kid. You know, if I'm, if I'm sitting there with an eight or a 10 year old kid, and I don't necessarily want to watch a cartoon, but he's not ready for whatever. I think this is a really fun story. They showed battles without having to show any violence. They had some scary characters without making it um, overly visually like mm -hmm. creepy or graphic. So I think all in all for what this show was supposed to be or what my interpretation of what it was supposed to be, I think they did a good job with it. Again, I have a hard time with somebody who, who, who looks and sounds and you know, has the, the flannel button down, like, I'm a, I'm a demigod. But it's you like, wanted him yeah. to have a 20 minute sword fight with Edge on the beach? No, but that's that's <laughs> that's part of it. I'm agreeing with you there. Okay. It's hard to yeah, picture, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, when you, especially, look, what is it? Edge is about 6'4". Yeah. Dude, he's, this is a badass dude. And I know, look, I know. Oh, oh just because you're big and strong doesn't mean. <laughs> look, but hey, Percy's Harry not. Harry Potter as a kid took out Voldemort. First, he's not Bruce Lee or, you know, Floyd Mayweather either, you know? But so in, in any regard, there were some things that, you know, but but it was, look, it was fun. It was enjoyable. For what it was, I enjoyed it. I'll just say Yeah, that. Yeah, for me, uh, I, look, I enjoyed this. I'm a fan of the Greek and Roman mythology, and it's been a little while since I've taken the dive back into that. So overall, I enjoyed seeing this story played out the way it was. Now, again, like I said, it's TV, PG, family. Am I the target audience? No, probably not, but I'm a little bit biased because I do have an interest in that topic. So that kind of helps out. The look I thought, and I don't know how old uh, Walker Scobell is. I don't know if we can bring that up or yep. whatever, but Honestly, I thought, look, you gave this kid a bunch of fight scenes that he had to do with, you know, training to fight with swords and a number of different scenes. He had the fight scene with Luke, the fight scene with Adam Copeland. Uh, he was born in 2009. So, yeah, he's a young kid. And I give him a lot of credit because, look, if you go back, I promise you, if you go, if you go back and watch medieval movies from the 80s or even early 90s there's a bunch of guys in the background or even in the main fight scenes just like hitting their swords together like this <laughs> against each other it's pure cheese and pure cornball i like i love robin hood uh prince of thieves kevin costner that, that's one of my favorite movies i guarantee that the sword fights if you go back and watch them now they're they probably don't hold up the way you romantically remember that movie so i give everybody all the actors involved especially walker and, and uh, uh whoever played luke I, I don't have it in front of me i give them a lot of credit for that fight scene and i give uh adam and walker a lot of credit for working together with their fight scene as limited as it was because that's the thing right i think if they would have had an epic drawn out battle it would have taken me out of it for the same reasons you said oh it's like okay well first off you know he's a god and uh, Percy's just demigod, so it shouldn't even be a challenge. He should be able to, you know, wipe him out somehow. Percy eventually found his inner strength, brought the wave on. That was cool. That was like mm -hmm. his real badass moment. And speaking of badasses, I've never seen Lance Reddick 
uh, that fired up before in yeah. a role. And that was incredible to see that little bit of fire, that, that little bit of energy that he could bring. Because I'm used to seeing him as, you know, in John Wick, where he's very straight laced and never, I don't think his heart he rate. He was a good dog. Yeah, his heart rate never, <laughs> never elevates. So that was really cool to see him like that. And gosh, he's, he's so missed. So it was yeah. kind of a, a, a treat for us kind to see. I kind of want to add to you on that. Uh, I've watched John Wick so many times that I'm so used to hearing. <laughs> Lance talk like yeah. that so hearing him in here was like totally just different yeah. I'm so yeah. used to yeah, hearing we're so him. used to him a certain how way how much I've watched yeah. John Wick films and to hear him that fired up uh, the the turn with Luke I, I didn't see coming until he started walking into the oh, forest I know folks if I can give any of you a tip out there that if you if you got a buddy of yours and maybe you're a little a <laughs> uh, little back and forth with it, don't go for a walk in the woods. It didn't work out with Rick Grimes and Shane. It didn't work out with Percy and Luke. And I'm sure there's a number of other movies we where got, we got two two, two yeah, friends we'll, are out walking in the woods and the bad guy starts telling the story. Ah, you know, Oak. I knew there was something about you. I knew you were a little bit different. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, you're coming to blows and somebody has to take somebody out. Okay. That was still well done. To piggyback on that real quick, we've seen that in how many movies where it's the underlying bad guy the whole yep. time is like, hey, why don't we go for a walk? Or yeah, we, we have this thing. Me and you, we'll take that side. You know, type that yep. stuff and too. And they, so. they split off. God, exactly. No, but it's so the, disappointed. Yep. Pain and Otis. <laughs> yeah, Shane and Otis. And then uh, the only <laughs> slight complaint I have is very similar to Dave's. I would have liked to have seen just a little bit more time kind mm -hmm. of explaining the wrap-up, so to speak, a little bit, because I was a little bit confused when first Percy woke up the first time, went into the cabin, saw his mom, then had to wake up again, and he was in his room. Within and it was a dream. Within, a, within dream. a dream. And I'm like, yeah. okay, so right. did... Did this actually happen? Was it a dream sequence to, to Oak's point? Because it was it was a little bit weird the way it was done. Yeah, and, yeah. and then it showed, okay, she's back. Is she really back? Just because of the creatures we've had, they're able to impersonate uh, and be somebody else. So I would have just liked, like you said, Diamond Dave, to see uh, Hades actually giving her back and doing at least something there. That would have been nice. Otherwise, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was well done. Uh, again, my bias aside, being a fan of this mythology, uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. Hits the target audience. Can't wait for the second season. You know, I read some, before you go, I read some online theories that uh, all eight uh, Harry Potter movies never took place. It was him having severe trauma, being forced to live under the stairs at the Dursley's house, and everything we saw was his imagination as a way to escape the daily torment of uh, living under the stairs. Yep. So maybe, you know, Percy. Yeah, just, maybe, just, maybe. just like, maybe, just like this. Maybe none of this happened. <laughs> this reaction channel is a whole dream for me. I've got <laughs> torment going on. These guys aren't even real. No, this episode, yeah, like, I will just say, yeah, it's the constraints of time. And then obviously you wanted this to be for the whole family. So you're not going to go into deep and dive and grungy and all that stuff, but maybe it will get darker as the audience is growing older like we saw with potter where you know one like you were eight watching harry potter but by the time you watched watched the last one you were 18. so it was a whole different ball game so that's maybe where i'm going with that but for me my favorite part was obviously with lance about ready to drop oh. the bomb and poseidon showed yeah. up and then surrendered i didn't see that coming no i didn't either i i i mean sadly you know lance is gone so we're not going to have him as zeus anymore but i was looking forward to seeing the whole council to see who they all have in for the whole family affair to decise and talk about the swift and this <laughs> the swift <laughs> demise <laughs> swift demise of uh of poseidon but then uh where he asked him if they have dreams and he you know he answered with of course we do and but just one answer about the, you know, do you dream about mom? But he did break down a little bit, so maybe. But you have to remember, he's got. It's not the only mother of no, his he, kids he's got out there. Say, like, like I'm thinking the whole time, which he, mom? He would be like, uh, which one is your mom? But we saw, but but we saw the flashback of the match going in, and he showed up. Yeah. Here's so, the thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here's, yeah I got a lot of them. Um, going on, Maury. So so which one is it? Um, but then so then what I was wondering about too, the dream within a dream was. But then at the end, when because when she was asking what happened, I was worried. Oh no, is this still going back to that? He's you know, 
special kid that sees all the weird things so she's writing down just okay what's in your dreams this time honey yeah. but then when we saw the post credit scene where <laughs> i'm getting a divorce and i was like all right okay we're, we're going into the second season yep. for sure so i'm i'm looking forward to the second season um i will start off the score and i have it down i give it a 375 for the season i mean it's still very fun very lighthearted, has great comedy and it i'm definitely damn it i'm definitely ready <laughs> <laughs> there, Are you that, sure? That damn it was more swearing than in the whole series. Uh, so I'm definitely ready, willing, able to see season two. I think it'll be a lot of fun and can't wait to see where they go from here and see uh, some more of Kronos. Yeah, for me, there was a number of scenes that I really liked in this one, but I think the one that really struck me that they kind of had things figured out for their audience was how they dealt with beheading Medusa because that's such a famous iconic thing that has been done in the mythology i was i'm like how are they going to pull this off and the invisibility hat was a brilliant uh, idea and that worked out really good that among some other things i give this one a four out of five answers again you can take my bias uh with it or not if you want because i'm a fan of these type of stories so a lot of fun can't wait for season two yeah so this is a good uh a good series for me 3.8 um there's some things that i would have liked to see but given we've been over a bunch of times this mm -hmm. was a family thing time i think this was done well the one question i have for people out there and the one thing that i didn't bring up that that that's bothering me is when percy says the last time the gods had a war this is how world war ii started if you've watched the other stuff on the channel you know i'm a big history buff especially when it comes to world war ii and when you play out the timelines of things that were going on in in europe and in japan and with the u.s i'm like how exactly did they tie in the gods war with world? which one of the events here on planet earth so if you in the comments if you have any sort of reference as to what that was uh referring to please help me out and let me know they might unless just, they might have just unless it it's a spoiler for season two that's right unless it's a spoiler for season yeah. two yeah i'm gonna give this a 3.5 good introduction wow. for me. yeah good introduction for me mm -hmm. uh again really didn't mean to if it came off that way it was just me poorly communicating that i was crapping on it but uh Again, I was just, I had high expectations of how this probably should have gone. But either way, a good introduction. I'm actually intrigued to now watch the movies because of how many either like it or hate it. And you guys know us. We are definitely going to watch them yeah. so that way we can form our own opinion as well. So I can't wait to see, because uh, I feel like this was a good base. Now going to the films, if they're the, truly that bad, it's going to be like, Whoa! It'll, it'll be We're interesting. Like, Where's Walker? And we need yeah, him back. We, we need Percy. Walker back. We it'll need be. Leah. We need Arian. Yeah. I'm probably butchered his name there, but it'll be interesting anyway. to see if we have our moment, like so many of the folks did with other movies that we've done that are bad. Where you're watching it, and when you hit that realization that it's going to be bad, and you're like, Oh boy, here we go. Here, here, here this we is go. not what we, I signed up for. We got another hour and a half. Everybody, yeah. everybody at home is like, We, to I, we told you. <laughs> we told you so. Well, we we tried. To warn you. Well, it's interesting because there are some folks out there that said they're yep. really not yeah, that bad. Yeah, some folks like them. So, and then there's some folks yeah. that do not watch it. So it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. Like, Maybe we'll be split. What, and then I heard that they really like the first one, and then they said the second one don't watch. Yeah, so that's the other part. The too, opinions are all over. So, so it's going to be sometimes interesting. when they tell us it. when they tell us don't watch, it's like, well, now I gotta watch. Now we kind of have to. <laughs> well, exactly. Right? Well, and then some people were saying, um, you know, only watch the first movie. Don't don't watch the second to the second season, but people kind okay. of came. Oh, oh, okay. People rallied hmm. in though and said, "Hey, watch both. Don't worry about that." So again, it, like I well, said, the comments are because then maybe if we watch that cool. second one and then we go into season two, we'd be like, "Wow, this season two is a lot better than the movie was," or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Too. It's got to be well, some frame way. of reference, right? So, exactly. Well, when we wrap it up, I'll make these guys watch a little YouTube of the 1960s or 70s Clash of the Titans, and we'll see what they think. Uh, pass. I think that's a film that was remade too, right? Yeah, but I think yeah, that's it on had, the uh, list. What's his name from Avatar? Sam guy, Worthington. Sam Worthington. I watched that about, on the list, I watched I think. about four minutes of that movie. And I was like, uh, was like time, was to like, hit, time, time to hit the time old. Rust, for, rust. I was like the sharks. And for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we still had a lot of fun with this first season. We can't wait for a second season, but hey, we got some movies to watch with it. So for Diamond Dave, Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.